my 30 day healthy reset challenge. Today we made it. Today is day 30. We made it through the full 30 days. Even though I had a few days that I wasn't doing so well and I had to get into the right healthy mindset, I pushed through and got got to today. And yes, I had some exciting news. I mentioned it to you the other day, um, but I wanted to save the, the news for today. Um, even though um, I weighed myself, I think it was on Thursday or Friday, I accomplished a goal. And I know it was because of getting into the right healthy mindset and envisioning my goals in my head and thinking positively about myself. Surrounding myself with positive people who continue to encourage me and support me whenever I make these kind of goals. They're right there with me. My husband, my kids, my dad, my coach, all of the other uh, ladies and gentlemen that are in our group. It just, it was really needed. All my friends, I really needed their support and they came through for me, especially when I had a really bad week and I needed to turn to someone, I was able to turn to my coach. And then I want to thank you guys who come and watch these videos and support me through this whole month of this journey. I couldn't thank you guys enough. There was a couple of them especially that sent me messages um, of encouragement and those really meant so much to me. I was really questioning whether to continue this um, this challenge, whether to continue making videos and documenting my journey, and it was your added voice that sent that small little message to me that meant so much to me and it, it ignited something within me to keep pushing forward and never give up that I am worth this effort and you are worth the effort whatever goal you want to set for yourself you are certainly worth that effort don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise and don't even tell yourself that you're not worth it you are if i can do this at age 50 anybody can accomplish it now you're wanting to know exactly what did i actually accomplish this month well Finding my healthy uh, mindset was number one. I didn't realize I didn't have a good healthy mindset until I experienced the issues and the, the struggles involving that. And when and it just so happens that the week that our group was talking about one of the elements, that was the element we were discussing. And it just opened my eyes to what I was experiencing, what I was going through, and it it really awakened in me how to move forward. And all the other elements in this program will just simply fall in place if you have that one key element on your side, which is your healthy mindset. You've got to feed your mind healthy thoughts, positive thoughts, and then the rest of it will fall into place because you're more inclined to eat healthier foods. You're wanting to choose more healthier options instead of feeding your body what it was so used to. You want to feed it nourishment. And that starts with your mind. Feeding your mind that healthy nourishment that we need. So, the goal that I set out for myself, and I will show you on my, um, my sheet, the, my why. Whenever I fill out my journal, I fill out what my why was. For this month, my why was to lose 10 to 15 pounds this month. I didn't reach the 15 pound mark, but I did reach the 10 pound mark. Just over 10 pounds, almost a full 11 pounds off this frame. Now, 10 pounds, some people might think, oh, 10 pounds isn't all that much. Well, that is true. In some cases, that is true. But I've had a lot of ups and downs this year. The first four months of being on program, which June 7th, 2021 is when I started Optivia, 
and for the first four months I lost 40 pounds and I thought wow this is amazing I'm losing all this weight so quickly and then the holidays came and I turned 50 and those stresses at work compounded all the other things that I started drifting into a terrible mindset and I didn't realize that. I wasn't thinking clearly, I wasn't rationalizing, I wasn't choosing the proper lean and greens. I, I would start slowly drifting into my old habits because I felt comfortable. I thought, oh, I lost all this weight. I started feeling a little bit more comfortable in myself and allowing myself to go and get the chicken sandwich from Burger King uh, every now and then. First it was just once every couple weeks. I managed to maintain through the holidays. I'm like, oh, I can manage this. Then it was once a week. Then maybe a couple of times a week. Three times a week. And as long as the scale was still saying I was kind of staying in the same zone, I thought, okay, I can manage this. But then after the holidays, after the first of the year, it caught up to me. And for the first two months, I put those 10 pounds back on. Come March 1st, some big major changes happened in my life again, which brought more stress upon my life and uncertainty about my future and whether or not I can even continue with Optavia. And then my coach and her coach's coach came to me and says, well, why don't you become a coach with Wes? We can see you have success. We can see that you've experienced the struggles of the program, but you haven't given up. And it's that mentality that needs to be in a coach. And you have those qualities. At first, I wasn't sure about that. But they didn't give up on me. And that's where I am today because they didn't give up on me. I didn't give up on myself. I became a coach. I have two wonderful clients under my belt, friends of mine that I have known for years. And I have another one that might be on the way. I don't know. But I'm not thinking about all that. I'm just thinking about helping people. I've been in, I've been in the medical field my entire career. And then changes happened that took me away from that. But people's health never changes. Whether it's in the medical field or not, it's with everybody every day. And I still have to be, I'm, I'm still glad I can still be a part of that. And help people. And that's where I want to be. And that's where I want this channel to go to. I want to be as much of an encouragement as I can to anyone who watches these videos who thinks they're too old or too heavy or they just don't have it what have what it takes to do this you certainly do if I can manage it anybody can because I didn't know I could do this kind of success now I'm reaching at a level where it's gonna start taking me more work on my part to really reach my ultimate weight goal but I'm not focused on the weight goal so much as how I'm feeling. Tapping into my positive, healthy mindset opened my eyes to discover there's more to this program than just your weight and your diet and what you eat. It's how you feel inside. It's how your body feels in its clothes. And I'm kind of wearing a bit of a, a snug shirt. Um, and I'm hoping that if I lose maybe another five or 10 pounds, this thing's gonna feel a little bit snug, a little bit loose. It's right now it's a bit snug, which I'm okay with because I feel better in my own body. I feel better in my own skin. I've never felt like this in myself, for myself ever in my life. I've never felt confident in myself or that I'm worth it. I always, I was always my worst critic. I was always self-deprecating. 
putting myself down, feeling like I just wasn't good enough. Until I found the right people that opened my eyes and told me, yes, I am good enough. I am worth it. So, um, I noticed that yesterday's video was really short. I didn't realize I didn't record this much content yesterday, but I want to keep this one kind of short too today because today is Memorial Day here in the United States and I want to spend it with my family. So I'm just going to go on for the rest of my day. I've already had my first feeling today. I did something a little bit weird that you don't normally do for the first feeling of the day. I decided to have myself the chocolate fudge pudding for my first feeling. Now, I know that's kind of a weird thing to do for the first thing in the morning, but for some, th some reason I just wanted something chocolatey and that's about the only thing I have left in my box uh, that's chocolatey because my new box hasn't come in yet. And so I don't know what the rest of the feelings or my lean and green is going to be. Um, but typically for Memorial Day, we usually grill out hamburgers and hot dogs. I don't, I won't have a hot dog, but I can have like a grilled chicken or I can even make myself, um, some, I've got some chicken breast. I can grind it up in my um, food process. I've got a KitchenAid a stand mixer that's got one of those uh, grinder, meat grinder attachments that you can add to it. And I grind up my chicken and make ground chicken. That's how I made my ground chicken, firecracker chicken, with that. So I might make myself a chicken burger that way and wrap it in some lettuce leaves with some, a slice of tomato for, for my own burger, for my lean and green. I don't know exactly how the rest of the day is going to go, but I don't know if you noticed how my face was maybe a little bit flushed this morning when I first got on here. My husband and I went out this morning and cut down a tree. It was one of those really thin spindly trees, but it had gotten lots, like at least a dozen um, branches that was no bigger around than my arm. And it was blocking the satellite dish signal. So we just cut that down and I got wore out. So I've had, I've already had some healthy motion already today. And I want to spend the rest of the day with my family and I hope you do too. Guys, have a wonderful Memorial Day and uh, sh share it with your family and tell them you love them. If you uh, have family members that were um, veterans, I, I, I honor you and thank you for your service. My father-in-law and my grandfather also um, were veterans. They both served during the World War II. And I have my multiple uncles and uh, that uh, and, and in-laws that were um, veterans as well. So definitely give those people a hug and tell them thank you for me because we should honor our veterans and remember those that have passed but yet they gave their lives for our freedom. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I so, so appreciate it. I uh, will probably put out another video maybe in another week or so. Two weeks from today though, my husband and I will be going on a vacation so there may be some time I won't have any videos to put up but I will try to put some content together in the upcoming weeks and post them for you. If there is any lean and green meals you want me to share that I've mentioned to you before like the firecracker chicken, um, there's a family favorite of ours called He-Man Hot Dish. It's a very similar to the uh, a stuffed pepper skillet that I've made on this um, on my videos before but uh, if you want me to show you how I make those then let me know in the comments below and um, I will see you at my next video. You guys have a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on this 30 day healthy reset.